Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. Right now it's already, I must say, a pretty nice thing. Uh, look at that, this is how it looks now. Uh, well, and I said I had some issues, right? I said I had some issues and I wanted to, to show you the issues. I didn't want to show all the things. Well, one issue, one issue was the color. I use this one. Uh, this is one thing you have noticed and there was still the ball dancing around at the top so that it was just falling off uh, because this actually would have how it I originally intended to look like. Yeah, We made these guide wings in here. I think you remember uh, those guide wings and with those guide wings it was better because without guide wings it was simply blown out completely and this did not help entirely. So I thought of adapting the guide wings, but this would mean a lot of print time. So I added things. Look at that. This is one thing I printed out. So just some sort of nozzle that we can put it on, put the ball on, and that's it. So that it will narrow down the stream and it was not working. It was not working. Yeah. So, use a second try. Yeah. Because it even looked worse with this. Yeah. Look how this, uh, how this was designed. It even looked worse with this type. Yeah. So I thought maybe it's the wrong way. Maybe I should go apart yeah, and I produce this. Hmm. However, I also thought uh, a little additional guide wings would be nice. So I put in additional guide wings there. Yeah. And to place it here, it did not work at all. <laughs> it also no benefit. Yeah. What was funny is if we're using it like that and like that, that it spinned. Yeah. I can show you. I can show you, I will show you. <laughs> this looks is a little side effect. Yeah? My kids loved it because it made noise. It made noise and it looked funny. So what else do you want? Yeah? Show you what I mean. Okay, we online. This with the ball. Looking nice, yeah? but what was actually you see the ball is falling off. It was not what I tried to reach. <laughs> nice effect, but alright. Alright, so uh, those two not. And then I produced this one. So a mixture between this one uh, and this one and I produced this one so I narrowed it down and I did also guide wings inside but not that that steep yeah not that if you compare those two wings yeah, they are they are not that extreme yeah? so I placed it on here and see it worked it started to work and I can even adjust just a little bit Huh? 
and you see there's still an issue but however I can adjust this guide vanes now and it's looking pretty nice and if I have the right adjustment it will even oh yes yes right so you see this was the solution to this problem of the dancing ball and there is still the issue well some say it's all right but for me it that did not look that well so i replaced this with that uh, to make it look a little bit more I don't know distinguished yeah? not that funny however it's almost the same the only thing I've changed is is here at this part there is this there is this uh, nipple yeah? there is this nipple and here I have removed this nipple, made it a little bit smaller. Why I did this was another problem. Huh? I built in this bigger motor. The bigger motor produced more heat. Huh? And also the shaft of the motor was pretty, was pretty uh, hot. Yeah? So I ha had an issue with, with my fan. The fan was printed of PLA and PLA is not very heat, it's very heat sensitive, all right? So I printed a new fan here in, there is now a new fan, you see it has a different color. I printed it with PET, yeah? PTG, and these, these marks here on the side, they are because whenever the fan was getting hot, yeah, it started to wobble, yeah? because it was simply not that yeah, it was simply melting. Huh? It started to wobble and then touches at some point the wall. Huh? So I decided to use PET G. Okay, now this worked better. Huh? And I also printed out those parts, the motor, the motor parts. This is the part. This was the this was the original motor part for the small motor. Huh? where we realized, okay, the small motor has not enough power. Then I print this one for the bigger motor. Uh, however, this was with uh, PLA and if the motor inside was getting hot, then I didn't want this. So I printed the same, the same part now in bed G yeah, and it looks pretty, pretty nice. I also have this motor cover and so on. Uh, so I put this in. Uh, Petchi, uh, spinner, fan in Petchi, and then I was pretty confident it's going to work. However, I had the same issue again. All right, I had the same issue again. After a while, it started to wobble and it was not stable. So I thought, hey, what, why? Yeah. So I came up with another solution. I redesigned the fan. Yeah. Solution one was to put glue on. on, on a glue. This fan is now glued to the, to the shaft of the motor. Yeah. Because actually I also thought that there is a lot of friction between the shaft of the motor and the fan. Because if it's loaded, you know, the, 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 the wind, the air is going to hold the fan back. And if there is a lot of friction between the shaft and the fan, this will heat up pretty quickly. Yeah? And I thought this, I, I think this already solved it. Solved it yeah? However, I was not sure. So I intended to do a little bit more. And I came up with this solution. Yeah? Look at that. Yeah. yeah. This thing here, yeah? you can buy. The smaller thing you can buy. And I added a disc, uh, an aluminium disc with three holes in it. Yeah? Uh, this is usually for a propeller, for, for uh, remote control airplanes and so on. You can buy this with exactly the shaft diameter of two to three millimeter. And there, is, there are little, little screws at the side so that you can, you can clamp it on. 
Yeah? However, I needed somehow a method on how to combine this element with my with my fan here. Yeah? So what I actually did was to design this aluminium plate yeah? with the three holes, with the three M3 uh, threads in, in, inside threads and I redesigned my spinner yeah? also with three holes and in the back in the back we have here now the holes and so on so this exactly fits in here and I have a real spinner unit all right I can I can mount and dismount how I like and this is also screwed with these those M3 M3 screws right. second one it's working pretty nice I have not seen it in action up to now yeah. I have not seen it in action but I think it, it's, it's going to work pretty nice because it now almost it, it, it's a more Pro solution. Right? It's a more pro solution. It's a more expensive solution. It's a more pro solution. However, I have seen. Uh, so, if this is really starting to melt now, I can use this one. And as you can see, there is a little bit. Um, it needs more room. Uh, why it needs more room? I just. I'll show you. Finish the screw. Okay, why is there more room? Because I need this this little disc here. Okay, this one. Yeah, because here are the little little holes yeah, where we can screw clamp the clamp holes where it will hold to the shaft. So actually this amount, this amount of height here yeah, is added to the height here. And this is exactly why I reduced this nip to this one. Yeah, so that there is enough room between the fan because it would only be, I don't know, two millimeters or something like this. Uh, it was, it was too less for my, for my intention. So this is now Another, another spinner. Yeah. These were the, these were the things I, I had to deal with during this project. Right. But now I must say I'm pretty satisfied. Pretty satisfied. Uh, it was a little bit more work than expected. Yeah. Because on paper everything looks fine. Uh, then you realize, okay, the motor is so small. You need a bigger motor. You have to redesign the stuff. That's getting hotter. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Interesting project. And with the adding of this augmented reality stuff and so on, phew, yeah. now it's a solid piece of presentation. Uh, what is possible? So we'll show it on display. For this time, thank you very much for listening, goodbye.